Hello, my name is Ashley Simmons, and I'm going to take you through several steps to prevent identity theft. Identity theft is a serious crime in which someone pretends to be you and obtains key pieces of your personal information. For example, your name, address, social security number, and uses it to their advantage. Identity theft is anyone who accesses your personal information without your knowledge. Examples of identity theft include Gerald Barnbaum lost his pharmacist license after committing Medicaid fraud. He stole the identity of Dr. Gerald Barnes and practiced medicine under his name. Another example would be Mark Tufano. He impersonated famed actors like Gary Oldman, in which he sent a video of himself as Gary Oldman portraying Andy Kaufman. It fooled the man who actually wanted Oldman to portray Kaufman in Man on the Moon. The real Gary Oldman caught wind of the scam and got busted. There are many steps to prevent being a victim of identity theft. The first step would be to secure your social security number. This piece of information should only be given when absolutely necessary. Do not carry this on your person. Lock this document away so you can only access it. Next, be mindful of solicitations. Many times, older people are prone to get scammed by people going door to door to sell an item. This also can happen in the form of email, mail, or telephone. Next, be careful at ATM machines. People can watch over your shoulder for your credit card number info. Try to cover the keypad to prevent this. Next, collect your mail regularly, and if you're away for a while, ask your post office to hold your mail. Next, monitor your billing cycle. If you have late statements, contact the sender. And lastly, be mindful online as well. Install firewalls to prevent hackers from obtaining your personal information via a computer. Now that we know several steps to prevent identity theft, I hope you are able to utilize them to help yourself in the future. It is very important to keep this information in a safe location so you do not become victim of identity theft. In this slide, there are several websites you can visit if you think you might be a victim of identity theft. Please take the time to read the websites as they provide some key information regarding identity theft and what you can do, what you can do to prevent and report.